So Gummy bringing out the Roy, and he is going to be facing his mirror entity right here in Guap's Roy. MD versus VA for sure. Oh, this is very interesting to see. This is this is literally the battle of aggressors. Who will be the one with the fire to kind of carry on into the further uh, further into the losers bracket? You know what the most messed up thing about this is, Snivy? I don't know the spacing matters in this matchup. This might be one they of the few dittos where you don't space your opponent out. You actually need to hit them with a the hilt of the sword to kill it's them. It's kind of literally just two bulls just bonking heads together, going at each other. That's exactly how it's gonna be. But Guap landing the chair, not able to find the kill on Gummy, but Dancing Blade, there you go, you're gonna find it there. Guap's edge guard kinda nice, like that entire, entire time was was just one extended ledge trap sequence. He won neutral once, forced Gummy to edge, it's like, yeah, this is your home now, this is where you live. Yeah, that's the thing about that we've seen from Guap all night, we know Guap was uh, playing Krom a lot on stream, but with the Roy, this is definitely something different. They have a lot more uh, the base, or they have that um, that sweet spot with the base of their sword, so they're able to get a lot more consistent kill power compared to Krom and a uh, different kind of routes to their combos. Oh my God, he delayed it so long. Very smart by Gummy, but still unable to claim the stock. He does manage to wave land back to platform, and now this is kind of one of those spots where exactly like you're saying, the spacing doesn't matter if you keep them at max distance. You're just never going to kill the man. Have to hit with the hilt of the sword to actually get best kill. Yeah, Gummy is just trying to catch Guap, just coming back onto the stage with the F-Tilt. Still just trying to punish him, running on in. But Guap still hanging around town for a little while longer. And there you go, Gummy finally finding the kill with that F-Tilt. And only 42% extra credit. So after a zero to death to start the match here on Guap's end, Gummy recovering fairly well right here. Yeah, and these up are definitely doing Gummy just as well, getting some very solid percent up on Guapa. Guap, having control of this corner, was probably looking for an air dodge off the jab, was not able to find as well, but opts to convert for the back guy this time around. But still, we're having to play things at the ledge here. There's a dancing plate upward and catching the mash on down with the F I love that upward option. Just basically say, I think that you are going to land incorrectly against me. I think you're going to be a little bit aggressive, and I think I'm going to get the stock off. Oh, he knew. Oh, he knew all right. Oh, so unfortunate, but it's right back to even. Keep things nice and interesting here. Yeah, I mean, that's an unfortunate suicide for sure for Guap. It feels like this match has been, like, Guap hasn't been tested in neutral at all. He's just been <laughs> advantage state after advantage state. So now we have to see what happens when the tables are turned. Yeah. Actually rolls on and then gets the jab back air. Attempted an edge guard right here. No, we're going right back to lead trapping. Gets jab again, and then into the side B. Not going to kill because it hits with the tip of the sword. Reset the situation one more time. Double jab into the back air, forcing the jump. So Guap's edge trapping that entire game was picture perfect. It's suffocating. It feels like you can't even breathe. It's like you choose roll. Nah, you're back at the ledge. It's like you you trying to jump. I'm trapping that air dodge. Guap definitely has the timing on those back airs. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I have to wonder if what the option is here for Gummy is to slow things down. Like, he didn't need to get up at that point. That's one weakness of this character. It doesn't really have a ton that hits below the edge of that down tilt. So if he's not posting up showing that he's going to hit sweet spot down tilt, chill there for a minute. Yeah. Wait it out. Mess up his timings. Okay. Gummy not wanting to do the ditto, switching to his... Um, I don't know if this is his main, but I... Or maybe co-mains, Joker and uh, Roy. I've seen his Joker a lot more, so perhaps okay. I think this is like the OG main and he just maybe doesn't like the matchup. This is definitely interesting because uh, I was talking with um, Quack before about this, that Gummy, they like to play kind of very defensive-like. Mm -hmm. They uh, they don't really have that aggressive flair to their style that they have with um, the Roy that we previously saw, but uh, right now they're putting on a pretty solid advance day with this Joker. Just missing out with that back air, so now full stage control for Guap, Ooh. and he holds in. Like, that man fully committed to the roll in on that spot, but Gummy, wise to not give it up. Yeah, not matching too many buttons with the Arsene here, being very smart, having a little bit of a shield battle going on. What is Whiff punishing, man? Nah. -uh. <laughs> All I want to know is what is Whiff punishing in this what game? What is Whiff punishing? Nothing. We're here to butt heads together and just mash to our heart's content with these characters and trying to go for the drag down up smash. Gummy is able to secure that stock very nicely. And correct me if I'm wrong, that looked like a mistech to me. It looked like Guap was actually able to tech that first one, wasn't uh, it? I think so, yes. So definitely one of those where you don't want to see a stock end on an unforced error. Guap definitely going to tighten up those spots. Yeah, and having the ledge here, this is definitely a very easy stock, but Gummy finding themselves back to stage. Going to be beginning their kind of defensive play, mixing in a little bit of aggression, but it's going to be costing them. Yeah, that's one of those where it's a low risk, high reward. Just toss out that jab because, I mean, worst comes to worst, you just do another one. 
Okay, if your jab whips, just do it again. Roy, ladies and gentlemen. Just run it back. It's like, I can press so many buttons. Are you going to be able to punish it for me? I don't know. But let's see the up air train looking mighty nice right now. The Arsene going to be building very, very soon. But Gummy's still having to play without it in the base form of Joker. There's the gun damage. Getting up some very solid percent. But I take that neutral air too, immediately breaking it off, recognizing that you can get max damage out of that. Oh, the weak hit of the jab, though, not going to work out in that spot here. So now forward tilt, forcing Guap to edge. Are we going to get any kind of an edge guard? Great air dodge right there, because you know Gummy wants to go ahead and use that counter. Yeah, unfortunately not able to get the ledge jump as well. And Oos trying to call Guap out on the match with the counter. Not going to be working out, and Gummy still keeping Guap very oppressed on the back foot here. But now we're starting to see a little bit of a recognition from Gummy that he can be a little bit more comfortable in shield. It feels as though the air to air Guap's definitely winning those, but when the man is jumping, he's hitting buttons. He's not trying to go ahead and get these Tomahawks going yet. Yep, and still, this is a really strong battle for the center right now between both of these players to kind of just get out the ledge. Gummy still hanging on for dear life. Guap with a very Did you smart kill him with that? Wow, down tilt Tokyo out. The weakest little hit of down tilt is enough. It's a little dink. <laughs> That's definitely one of those where you need to get that like the, the little plunk sound effect going there. And I know that Gummy definitely wants to plunk Guap right now, taking things with SMS almost with Arsene very quickly. This is a Dancing Blade setting you up and guns down, gun slinging as well. Gummy or Guap currently with no fear against this Arsene right now. Maybe one fear. That one fear is getting taken off stage and then reversed on. That's the one thing that we've seen Joker be able to do. But right now, Arsene off deck right here. So we have to go ahead and get the tether back no up way. and the neutral B. Oh but he messes God. the timing up. He had the right read, but just simply not executing properly. Guap had the game here, so now Gummy's second lease on life. Yeah, Guap, that shield was, or with Gummy, that shield was looking like a Skittle, but from downtown, Gummy getting the snipe with the back air. That is going to be a game for him on the board. My God, what could have been, Snivy? What could, what could have, have been? been? That shield break would have been ridiculous. This Let me tell you. went from having the clip to having the counter pick. And if I was him, I, I think I'd know which one I'd prefer. The clip. Mm. Gotta go for yeah, the, exactly. the, the, the cool. Yeah, no, no. Unironically, <laughs> no, no, no. yes. Unironically, well, low, yes. Low-key the clip, but you're yeah. trying to get that bag. You're trying to get that guap here. Mm. Trying to we're go not and make we're a little bit of that money. We're not trying to style that hard out here. All but, right. So now the question becomes, do you think that we're going to see just Gummy stick with this Joker now after, like, a pretty solid game one? Or do you I, think with this cause for concern here. I definitely see Gummy just sticking with the go Joker all throughout the set because you know how people be. Nobody likes the ditto. We already saw how it kind of went down. They were both very aggressive, both mash mashing on each other, and Guap was the true master here, and Gummy's like, okay, I'll, I'll let you win this. I'll give up the crown for a second to just switch to the Joker because I'm trying to secure this here, and He's almost securing this Arsene and setting up for this very nice ledge trap with the guns. Yeah, I mean, but I love that aggressive side beat from Guap. He's used that a couple times to get back from Edge. Has to go ahead and see if he has another one in his back pocket, dodging a couple back airs and the dash deck, who's actually able to open this back up on his side. I feel like that's a big weakness of Arsene, is if you try to mash it a little bit too hard, if you go for those greedy options like that dash deck, you might oh. find yourself without Arsene and without a prayer right here, because we just went from being at kill percentage, you need to get another like 50 damage to I'm kill. I'm telling you something right now. These scrambles, they this is not it. They are both swinging for the fences. Somebody inevitably has to back off because that's a free stock for you. When your opponent just starts swinging on you, giving you up that S smash, those smash attacks, they're a commitment. You got to get the punish on. So trying to go low right there. Intercept attempts right there from Gummy not connecting with that back air. Forward tilt again, resetting the situation. And an early up B snuffed out and the double jump already used on Guapsen. Yeah, the Joker definitely paying off here and having so much extra credit right now and trying to build it up. There's the double up air, but ooh, the Don't be greedy, Don't be greedy okay. right there. Guap putting you on notice. Uh-huh, and trying to put him here at the ledge as well. This is the Roy ledge trap in question. You have the jab, you have the F-tilts. So much kill power here, but Gummy with a beautiful challenge with the Nair. Gets some free damage in and still is hanging around town for a little while longer. Point blank range guns still get parried. Doesn't actually matter. That move is just so safe at mid-distance. I don't know what you can actually do to challenge it if you're Roy. You have to kind of jump over it. And speaking of jumping, I love that. Two times in a row, Guap went forward and tapped Gummy's shield at max distance where he couldn't punish it. Just conditioning the man to drop shield and jump away. Yeah, and nice Rebel's Guard. Build up a little meter, build up a little damage as well. You have to just rinse and repeat this situation. The back air setting Guap up once again. And good call out on the jump as well. 
that has been an option that Guap has not really gone for a whole lot. He's just gone for the neutral getup as well, maybe the shield. And he's looking to just start swinging on Arsene, but you always have to think twice before you sw uh, when you're swinging on Big Brother Arsene here. I'm really stunned that he fell out of that side B2. That, that is a, an unfortunate situation. Multi-hit's not working, but luckily that one does connect. And oh. attempted a neutral B again, going to miss. But the drag down into the up air. So single hit forward air, paying dividends right there for Gummy H. Definitely cannot land this kill blow, though. I love Guap's good use of time. He really just stalled out that arson and did not really swing wild. Yeah, and these usages of uh, the Dancing Blade upwards to kind of just sit for situations has been really good, but Gummy's chase game offstage has kind of been unparalleled. It's gone uncontested pretty much from Guap. Cannot land that jab, and this time, Gummy's starting to be a little bit safer in shield. I'd really like to see Guap get a few more of these, just like jab once into dash grabs. Okay, he just went full forward on that one, immediately stand directly over ledge, call out only one option. Yeah, but very hey, good works. catch. Mm -hmm. if it, and you know, already don't fix when it ain't broke. Nope. And Guap still just swinging around town, trying to get the, a lot of these hits. The Dancing Blade has been doing wonders, but Gummy trying to get back in there. Goes lowly, just having that Arsene back online once again. Ah, uh, B not going to swing right there. Just ever so slightly misspaced. Gets a forward throw into the Arsene. Again, just taking one of those Ooh. hard commitments right there, and that is going to cost Guap the game. I, it feels as though anytime Guap relies on a particular option, anytime he goes for one of those hard reads, Gummy has the response and seems to be ended up with now, the stocks on his side. I know that air dodge may have looked foolish, but Gummy has went low every single time to pretty much edge guard Guap. Mm -hmm. And Guap was thinking, okay, Gummy's going to go low to get me. And it's like, nah, I see this air dodge. I know you're already going high. It's too late. It's too late. This game is already mine. In addition, like it feels as though the American air dodge, as they call it, the air dodge slightly above ledge, mm -hmm. that feels like a, a pretty solid option for Roy because his upbeat, even when it works properly, he just yes. gets two frames so easily by so much of the cast. And in this one in particular, when you got the guns, like you just don't want to be recovering low whatsoever. Yeah, and we're still going to town and city here. This is definitely a very good pick to kind of just resort back to as well for both of these characters. With their such explosive kill power, these small blast zones definitely going to be a huge factor in kind of just closing out the set. But it's already been a big contender in general for this, especially Gummy annihilating Guam stocks very early, just going so low for a lot of those back airs. Speaking of back air, that time Gummy connecting with one, getting full stage control, but gets the tech right there. And Guap still catches the jump away with the back air of his own, very nearly taking stock. And then the two Ooh. frame, the one weakness of Arsene, that recovery is so much easier to intercept than Joker's typical up B. But Gummy responds in kind. Yeah, Gummy has been three for three there, getting every single one of those back airs every single time. But Guap has also been phenomenal with this call-out game on a lot of Gummy's uh, jumps. But here we go, the loops, almost getting two of them loops with the damage as well. Very, very good. Arsene, though, out online, You're but dead. it don't even You're matter. absolutely dead. Oh matter. my god, Guap, what a catch on the platform. A Dancing Blade putting in so much work for Gummy. Honestly, that, his usage all night of that move has been so immaculate. Definitely. It's one of those things that Roy's love to uh, use and abuse, and Guap, uh, he's got that message received. That's for dang sure. Mm, and nice slide off to kind of just reset to the ledge. Still just hanging around. All right, this Nair getting some solid damage up. Gummy looking to kind of reclaim the center. He has our send, and he is able to make a really good play here to kind of just get an early kill on Guap. But Guap kind of has been having a firm control on this game so far. If I'm Guap, though, I'm, st I'm no longer calling out roll in with forward smash. He's done that like four or five times, and every single time Gummy is rolling out. <gasps> what a tech, though. Great recognition right there. Yeah, and these aggressive dancing blades. They've been catching Gummy kind of sleeping at the wheel here. You know, Gummy might have to press a little bit more buttons, but there's that roll finally catching with that F tilt. And like you were saying before, those F smash, that's a commitment. You got to watch it. But that F tilt, that's smart. That's smart. You throw it out and it catches. Mm -hmm. It's Roy's edge guard options are insane. He's got like four or five different options that he can do from the side Bs to just neutral air to jab to forward tilt. It feels like every answer you're going to guess when you're stuck at edge against a Roy is wrong. And, and after like getting hit four or five times, you must think to yourself, like, what am I doing? What What is the answer to this problem? And what are the Roy's thinking? Absolutely nothing. They're thinking, I'm hitting the big green button having fun. <laughs>
yeah, my brain's just going blank. I'm just getting ledge trapped. It's like, oh, if I jump, I can get hit by this. If I just get up, I get hit by jab. If my shield doesn't come out in time. I'm the best edge guarder in the game. Look at me hit that A button. Just mashes <laughs> furiously on the control <laughs> stick. But uh, Gummy definitely, uh, you know, looking to shut down this match from Guap. There you go. Not, oh my god, actually, you know what? Guap, his DI on a lot of these up airs have been so yeah, good. He's yeah. been able to get a lot of reversals. Even if it's like one hit, like solid two pieces as well, it's definitely been uh, a difference maker here. Real talk, I mean, he deserved to get more damage out of that. He was just getting the weak hit of up air instead of the strong hit. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those where, yeah, you bust out a combo, but what's your get out of jail free option? Well, it's exactly this particular spacing of your aerials. Yeah, and G Gummy making good use of that F-Tilt time, just trying to keep Guap out. But Guap, you know, just wants to always come back into the mix, trying to end things with the yes smash. It's like, all right, listen, your opponent is at 39. You don't got to go that crazy with the swing here. Back air forcing Guap low yet again here, and Gummy just waiting for the man to go ahead and be greedy here. Gets us the forward tilt, and that uh, that ups or forward smash, excuse me, I really don't like that over commitment. That feels like that's one of those where Gummy got really greedy, and look at the reversal that Guap's gotten off of it. Yeah, he has the tech chase as well, and almost found it with the dancing plan as well, but there's the forward throw to set up once again for a tech chase, but good DI on out. Gummy not getting some themselves in that position, but here we go, hanging around town, trying to snipe at that up B, but it's not going to be working out, unfortunately. Toss him off stage now. Gummy full control, gets the counter, and that is easy as pie. I feel like... In those spots, that Joker counter is so active and has such a big hitbox and activation box that, like, what does Roy actually do in that spot? Yeah. I think he just kind of, like, all right, yeah, you got, the, you got me. What can I do? And the way that Gummy used Saibi to kind of shift themselves into position to get that counter was so great. It's just Guam really has to think twice before they're going to have to recover as well because Gummy has been just getting so many of these edge guards off on Guam. Guap. Guap can win a lot of these neutral interactions. They definitely excel in their advanced state as well. But it, but with Gummy, Gummy, while they have the same kind of explosive advantage state, these edge guards, you know, they've been a little, they've been kind of slacking quite a little bit. The roll, the standard get up right there, and Guap that time finally stopped trying to cover roll in and just got the standard and good God, killing relatively early right there. Yeah, all right. Gummy still just trying to set up and get some free damage with the guns as well. The beautiful spot dodge to avoid a bit of a scramble in that mix. We're not having any shield battles here. We love to not see the... Both of them trying to get the grab too. It's, it's one of those where you can tell what both players are trying to do. Apply safe shield pressure with aerials and then try to mix in grabs at some point. Just unable to go ahead and have it connect right there. Great get up attack from Gummy. Recognizing that being on a platform against Roy in a tech situation is a recipe for death. Might as well toss that hitbox and uh, pray. Yeah, and there's the downs of the setup in the corner, but Gummy with the mash trying to get the back around. But oh no, fast following the fair. Too fast at the blast zone. That's going to be an unfortunate SD. Lost in the sauce, perhaps, is Gummy, and this could be an awfully awkward spot. Roy with rage, known to take these stocks early. Arsene might be on deck, but that doesn't give you any survivability. Mm -hmm. Nice call out on the match with the counter. Trying to put themselves back into the set. All right, 52%. That's not a whole lot of battle damage on you. You definitely can make this back. But with Roy, Roy, you always have to watch out with uh, how you approach things. He has that kill power to kind of just blow you up. And Gummy definitely looking to blow Guap right now with that downer, but unfortunately missing that timing. And you miss your one opportunity, and you're very likely to get reversal right there. Jab back here, not quite going to finish it off. So Gummy, what can he do? I feel like he's so far away from Arsene, we need to see like a Rebel's Guard if he wants that to play any kind of a role in this match. Yeah, there's a back air is trying to keep him checked with these good old jumps, just trying to call it that aggressive play. There's a Dancy Blade not getting hit by that last brutal, fatal final hit. Gummy looking to just get down to the ground, but Guap has been controlling this so, so much. Arsene very nearly on deck. This might just be a moment of surviving. Ooh. And look at how defensive Gummy's been. This is his opportunity. He just has to hit the aerial, but he misses the forward air. So now giving up full stage control. Guap has the opportunity to ledge guard. No, goes for that full extension on the forward tilt. Not going to connect. We get the tech. We do. Arsene on deck. Full control. Dash attack now. Guap in a terrifying spot. Touch oh, card is out. Counter. And he's got it. What a reversal in that sequence right there from Gummy. That was incredible. After that SD, maintaining their composure, just trying to get their kill in the fastest way possible. Messing up once, all right, had a bit of an overextension. We have a second chance, and Gummy was definitely a believer. Oh, yeah, that, that and then not checking out of that game whatsoever.
So we got to go ahead and give props out to Gummy and a nail biter. Definitely mm -hmm. managed to clutch it out. So now we have to go ahead and see who's next in bracket, this man. Uh, we will shortly see. They're definitely kind of looking to organize and get uh, 